That hundreds of thousands of people can come here every year and learn both about the history of Los Angeles and the discovery of something new like a fossil to learning something new about our world. Um, we found, for example, the um, a mammoth tusk uh, back in uh, November of 2016, and uh, since November 16th, we have uncovered progressively uncovered fossils at the Wilshire La Brea site. And so today, the paleontologist has approximately 500 fossils. For the Purple Line excavation alone, I know that they found a lot of really interesting fossils, everything from giant ground sloths down to sea otters. Construction projects are done here in Los Angeles. Very often they're required to have a company on site that is uh, has specialty in paleontology and archaeology to preserve anything that uh, the excavation might uncover. Um, so Los Angeles sits on top of a big oil field that's about a thousand feet underground. And because of all the tectonic activity, earthquakes and stuff that we have, sometimes uh, some of that oil gets squeezed up to the surface and forms pools. And when the lighter parts of that oil evaporate, what's left is this very dense, sticky substance um, that we call asphalt. Now, the asphalt uh, does two things. It it can trap uh, everything from tiny leaves and insects all the way up to mammoths because it's so sticky. And then also, uh, because of the properties of the asphalt, it can preserve a wide range of tissue. So these are fossils that were not found in the metro, but were found here, ex excavated at the La Brea Tar Pits, but they're from about the same time period as a lot of these fossils that are being uncovered in the metro excavation. So uh, things like um, giant bear, American lion, which was one of the biggest cats that ever lived, saber-tooth cats, which of course are our most famous fossils that we find here at the Tar Pits. Uh, dire wolves, which are also very common. We found more than about 4,000 dire wolves here at the Tar Pits. Uh, this is one of my favorites. This is a skull of a giant ground sloth. So, you know, tree sloths today that hang upside down yeah. and, and live in trees in Central America. Well, these sloths used to be all over North and South America and they weighed up to 3,500 pounds. So when we find fossils here at the Tar Pits, of course, they're uh, covered in asphalt. And so we have to get the asphalt off of the bones uh, in order to study them and identify them. And so uh, in our fossil lab here, which is part of the museum that guests can look into, we clean the bones first with a solvent that helps get rid of the asphalt and then with uh, plain water just to get any remaining dirt off. And then we take them to another part of the lab and uh, this is where we actually glue broken bones back together. We also find, uh, we're incredibly lucky to find literally hundreds of species of plants and small animals. Because both the quantity and the variety of fossils that get preserved here at the Tar Pits, that makes the La Brea Tar Pits in Los Angeles one of the best places in the world to research how ecosystems respond to climate change or uh, what the world looked like during the end of the last ice age or even the impacts of uh, humans or extinction that can have on ecosystems.